So you're at a coding competition and you need to find whether or not a number is prime and you have limited time. How can you implement a, an algorithm that is short and easy to understand and remember? Let's find out in this short video. So to do this, let's create a function. So int, let's name it is prime. I'm going to give it an x. So when we call this, it should, um, it should return uh, zero if it's not prime and one if it's prime, okay? How do we do this? Well, first we can check if the number is negative, right? So we can say if x is less than two, yeah, that's simple enough. Then you can also check if um, the number is even. If the number is even and it's not two, it's not prime. So we can check or x modulo 2 equals 0 and x is not well 2 we don't want to exclude 2 and if any of if this is true this means it's either 1 or uh, 1 0 or negative or it's an even number that's not 2 which means we return 0 so that would be the first stage that would really um, remove a lot of checks you don't have to uh, check uh, many conditions uh, for even numbers. Now for odd numbers, pretty simple as well. Start with a D, okay? And you also want an S. S equals, and that would be the square root, right? You wanna go from, um, from three up until the square root of that number. If you don't find any, um, divisors up until the square root of that number included then that number is prime okay so we can do int s equals floor of sqrt that's the square root of x I say floor because we want an integral we don't care about decimal points right and want to floor it don't wanna, right we want inclusive s in case it's nine we get three there and we check if it's inclusive that and four d equals 3, d is less or equal than s, d plus equal 2. We want to go every odd number because it can be an even number, otherwise it would it would have passed this condition, right? So if it was like 4, we knew it was already, if it was divisible to 4, we know already it's, uh, it returns 0 due to this condition, okay? So here we can check if x percent d equals to zero this means if is if x is divisible by d then return one and at the end here we just return well uh no we return zero here sorry and we return one here if nothing uh nothing executed in here no return was executed right and that's the simplest algorithm i know of and it should get you uh up and running in like you, you can implement this in like two minutes just remember, there's an if in the beginning where you check the most common uh, non-primes and then there's a d that goes from 3 up until square root of x uh, inclusive. Okay, so you have less or equal than s. And some people like to do d times d, times d less or equal than um, x here, but that's less efficient because you have to uh, calculate d times d every time. So this way you don't have to, it's much simpler. And I think you have to uh, include also uh, math.h just so that everything works. And to test it, let's try and print out, um, I don't know if, no, let's do, a, let's do a for loop here. So we're gonna say int i, i equals minus 40, i um, less or equal than, I don't know, 100, i plus plus. And if is prime of i, I'm gonna print f, uh, percent D is prime uh, backslash N and uh, an I here and if I try to run this we should be good to go I hope I didn't miss anything and here we go here's here are the answers we get 2 3 5 7 11 13 17 we skipped over 15 and it's all fine and dandy so right this algorithm is fast to implement it's not the most efficient one you just fast to implement if you're at the competition 
this is really helpful, right? You can implement it right then and there in 30 seconds, you're done with it, okay? So I hope this been, and it's also pretty efficient. It's not the worst uh, efficiency ever, okay? So I hope this been useful. It's a pretty short video. Um, hope you learned something from it. Uh, thanks for watching and see you in another video. Take care.